Welcome in along with PFF's QB1, Zach Robinson. I'm Cole Brown, talking about our weekly Georgia breakdown, brought to you by Eckridge, the official smoke sausage of the Georgia Bulldogs. Zach, Georgia's coming off a dominating 41-13 win over Vanderbilt. Who were some key offensive players that stood out to you? Yeah, no, they played well across the board. They kind of, you know, the Tennessee game wasn't their cleanest yeah. game across the board, but uh, they came out all phases, dominated the game offensively. DeAndre Swift, 11 touches, 99 yards, forced four missed tackles, and then the touchdown on the catch. Uh, and then Terry Godwin got back in the mix a little bit. We haven't seen a ton of him early on in this season, but uh, it was nice to see him catch that deep post over the top. Uh, he had just two catches for 95 yards, but both were big plays. Uh, and then the offensive line was a story again. They gave up three total pressures on the game, something we've seen all season long. Uh, they are our number one offensive line in the country right now. Uh, and, and Fromm is just throwing from a clean pocket over and over. You know Jake Fromm definitely loves that. But speaking of Jake Fromm, what stood out to you in this game and past games for him? Yeah, it was just another solid, complete game. He's distributing the ball. Uh, he's taking what's there, and he's not turning it over. He has one turnover-worthy throw wow. all season long, uh, and then he's mixing in the big plays when they present itself. We mentioned the, the deep post, uh, great protection on that play, and he's surveying the field, seeing the secondary, uh, and letting it go. So uh, when, when he's got a clean pocket, he is dangerous. He's going to always find the open guy. Yeah, he's only been under pressure on two of his 23 dropbacks, which is outstanding. But moving along to the defensive side of the ball, who are some key players? Yeah, I think the guy that sticks out and continues every single week we've seen is Tyler Clark again. Yeah. Uh, Georgia defense always wants to stop the run first. They got the secondary to, to defend the pass. But uh, Tyler Clark dominated again. This time it was uh, on the ground as well. He had a, he had a hurry. Uh, and a batted pass at the line of scrimmage, but he's the guy that continues to disrupt. And then DeAndre Walker, two, two hurries again this game, uh, solid against the run game. He's, he's the third highest graded uh, defensive player for Georgia this season. Tyler Clark's number two behind DeAndre Baker. So uh, they, they got the guys up front and very stout in the middle of that defense. I'm gonna go with a delicate touch over the treehouse, off the trampoline, through the target. Oh, boom, beat that. I'm about to. I'm going off the rebound net, off the porch column, straight through the target while I go down the slide. You got no shot. The Eckridge Million Dollar Challenge is back. Enter at EckridgeFootball.com for your chance to win. Where's the win? Yeah, it's really howling out. Georgia's definitely been dominant on both sides of the ball so far this season, but looking ahead, they play at LSU, they have Florida, at Kentucky, comes. and they finish off with Auburn. But for next week, looking ahead to uh, LSU, what are some keys for the offense? Yeah, this is going to be great. You know, they, they've, they've got through that part of the yeah. schedule that they needed to, and they've played some pretty clean games overall. Now they get into the meat of the schedule. You look at LSU, 330 CBS game. Uh, it's going to be a great matchup. I think the keys on offense is win the line, win the line of scrimmage, run the ball efficiently. We saw Florida rack up 215 yards yeah on the ground last week, a big part of the reason why they won that game. And then you look at the way LSU plays in the secondary, it's a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. The key matchup is gonna be these Georgia wide receivers. There's about five or six of them that can go off at any time. Uh, how they match up with Greedy Williams and some of these, some of these guys in the secondary for LSU. So uh, win your one-on-one -on -one battles as, as receivers and, and win the line of scrimmage and run the ball efficiently. Moving over to the defensive side of the ball, what are some keys for Georgia against LSU on the defense? Yeah, I think like a lot of these SEC games, first stop the run. Nick Brissett, the running back, they got a good rushing yeah. attack, stop the run. And then the biggest thing in the passing game is pressure the quarterback. We've seen Joe Burrow from a clean pocket. He's played really, really well this season. Under pressure, 14 of 47, 29.8 completion percentage. So if you can disrupt him and get him off his spot, force him into some bad decisions, I think that's where uh, this Georgia secondary can really take over. But those guys on the edge, DeAndre Walker, Ledbetter, Tyler, Tyler Clark pushing up the middle, uh, they're going to need to get him off the spot. Georgia will definitely be looking to pressure Joe Burrow. It's going to be an exciting matchup. I cannot wait to watch it. Well, there you have it. That wraps up our Georgia Weekly Breakdown, brought to you by Eckridge, the official smoke sausage of the Georgia Bulldogs. Don't forget to pick up your Eckridge smoke sausage at your local grocery store for this weekend's tailgate or home gate party, and make sure to visit EckridgeFootball.com for great game day recipes and to enter the season-long $1 million challenge.